Hey guys, how's it going on a hump day? Because it's Wednesday. In this audio, you learn a lot about how the world works and how we think about it. It's a very, very interesting video if you listen to it carefully. Please comprehend this stuff and apply it in your daily life. Thank you for listening to my audios. Wishing you an awesome hump day. Enjoy and chill. On a more personal, and speaking of stack, <laughs> um, I'm having a great deal of contrast. I, I spent a lot of my life in pretty significant contrast. All right, now hear this. Now, and we're going to let you continue it because you are very articulate. But hear the specifics with which you are speaking this negative side. I am. I've spent a lot of time. In the past. Doesn't matter. You've made it present. Mm. <laughs> Sure, bring that part you're doing up. it now you're doing it now you're doing it now you're activating it now I think I just got the whole point we think you did too <laughs> <laughs> so the solution to this physical issue is a quit talking about it and that'll help that'll that, help a lot okay there's a very pressing need to get distract yourself from it as best you can Focus on other things that make you feel good. You're so not going to let me talk about this, are you? Well, <laughs> and that's okay. That is okay. There, there's no, there's no reason to hold yourself in vibrational alignment with something you don't want by discussing it. And there's every reason to do the vortex work because it feels good. So we don't want you to do the vortex work because it will fix a problem. We want you to do the vortex work because it feels good right now and it's a better use of your time. Yes. And if you will do what feels good right now, which is a better use of your time, and you'll do it often enough because you, because we ask you some questions. Do you believe that you have an inner being? Yes, you said everybody does. Do you believe that your inner being's in the vortex with everything that you want? Yes, I believe that, you said. So do you believe that your inner being is there and that what you want it is there and the solution to what you are, the solution to your problem is there? Yes, I believe that. Yes, I believe that. Yes, I believe that. Then why would you do anything other than foster that belief? Why would you discuss a reality that holds you in vibrational variance with it? It's just habit that Bad is habit. not serving you. Bad habit. It's, it's just a habit that's not serving you. So the solutions are in my vortex. Yes. In and they're proportionate way. to the problem. Well, then there's a lot of solutions in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big time, big it's... time, big time, ready to manifest big time, ready to show you evidence, depending upon what you're doing right here, right now. And my question is of those solutions, how do I choose the most appropriate? Not one? your job because it just shows be up because, because you're not, you're not trying that that's trying to find the solution standing outside the vortex and it just makes you ornery can't do it so your work is not to find the solution your work is to get in the vortex because it feels good and the solution will show itself to you the solution all right let's let's talk about this would do you want to call the solution a manifestation yes so if a manifestation is going to follow the come right on the heels of the vortex work mm -hmm. then don't you just want to do the vortex work and let the solution reveal itself to you through the path of least resistance yes and for me there's a, a missing link between there's not the, a missing link there's not a missing link you're putting in an extra unnecessary step so too that so was good don't leave that too soon it's not there's no missing link is that you're putting in unnecessary steps you can you, can you, you talk to me more about yes that? because because you accept that the solutions are in the vortex mm -hmm. but you want to identify them and lay out a path to get to them we don't want you to even identify them or lay out a path to get to them because from outside the vortex when you identify them you hold yourself out the vortex longer so we want you to go general and accept the solutions are there. Everything I want is there. I don't have to figure it out. I don't have to figure out when it's going to come, where it's going to come from, who's going to bring it. I don't have to understand any of that. All I have to do is just generally accept. And I do that. The solutions are there and know that when I feel good, I'm allowing them to reveal themselves to me through manifestation, which indicates my alignment with the vortex. So there are two manifestations that have showed up. Is there but you see, you, you just did the opposite man okay. manifestations that, that please you. Yes. Well, then, one, one pleases me a lot more than the other. Well, 
there are two, there are two it, results. It is results. helpful. It is helpful once you get there to then notice and talk about the manifestation. In mm -hmm. other words, Esther was uh, watching a situation unfold and not liking what was happening. So she sat to ask us to write with her. So we began writing and we said to her, when your vibration shifts, a manifestation will will be evidence of that to her and right in the middle of that writing someone walked into the room and said something that was the perfect manifestation mm. so she has this written record of of the shift that happened mm -hmm. the sh not the, the shift in the way she felt and the shift in the manifestation because her negative emotion was in response to a manifestation that had just happened so that's what she was wanting to talk to us about and we just distracted her from it completely and and while we were distracting her reminded her that something will show up which will let her know that it shifts and it walked right in the door and showed itself to her she wanted to turn cartwheels so then she went to read it to Jerry and in the middle of reading the same paragraph to Jerry another manifestation walked right in the room and did it again so then she called Tracy and wanted to read it to Tracy and right in the middle of reading it to Tracy another manifestation occurred and Esther said this stuff really works <laughs> it's just incredible how fast the manifestation follows the alignment with what you want you see you just got to play with this you just got to show yourself that that your life is reflecting your relationship with your vortex period just keep calling it that it's my relationship with my vortex now what does that mean my relationship with who I really am what does that mean my relationship with everything I want what does that mean my relationship with all of the solutions that I've been lovingly putting there because I've been sifting through all of this contrast and problems in other words you're gonna reach the place where your problems are going to feel like delicious opportunities for solutions that you are certain you're going to find this is the way you felt when you came forth not one of you said give me a feathered nest every one of you says I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna fill my vortex up and I'm gonna enjoy enjoy the universal revelations of delicious life you see there yes. we're so in the vortex and so aware of your expansion your infinite expansion <laughs> infinite expansion infinite that that problems are non-existent because the solutions are so delicious so ridiculously delicious in other words if you can't find a solution without a problem and the solution is delicious then isn't the problem delicious too and if it's certain you see once you achieve the certainty that you can get from anywhere you are to anywhere you want to be and once you have the knowledge of how to do that which we've really been getting at here today then life no longer is challenging or frightening or scary it's just opportunity it's just mmm mm. mm. and we watch you a lot of you seek adventure do you know there are people who walk on tiny little wires across <laughs> Niagara Falls they must be nuts <laughs> or they must love they must love the adventure the, the, the accomplishment of desire you see and many say well I would not ever do that and we say then don't but but don't don't allow your don't miss your opportunities to have extraordinary experience and an, a, an extraordinary solution comes out of an extraordinary problem and if you'd stop labeling the problem as as a problem and as bad and instead acknowledge it as the contrasting opportunity for expansion then you're no longer hung up on step one and you're reaping the benefit of everything so then then the people who are out there messing with the economy and selfishly orchestrating it in order to make their own financial experience better at the at the sacrifice of everyone else instead of looking at them with hatred or or amazed alarm or or fear you look at them as really good stir uppers of expansion and opportunity makers 
for the receiving of more financial manifestation than any of you would have access to if they weren't playing in the game. No problem exists without a proportionate solution, which you were born to discover. You just answered a lot of questions for me. Thank you. Yes, indeed. One last one. They're when about I'm, to tar and feather you, so I know, make it that's fast. Fine. I'll make it really fast. I have, when I'm, I've started having this really unusual sensation in my physical body when I'm in the vortex and it's, it's like all the cells of my being just sing maybe. I mean, there's, I, I, it's a sensation I've never experienced before and it's how I'm equating my expansion. Good. Um, we would call it, we would call it the vortex training your vibration upward. And once you're really up there, the sensation will subside. I don't want it to. <laughs> it's a delicious feeling. It is the best feeling I have ever had. It's better than sex. <laughs> By a long shot. <laughs> well, the, the sensation of vibration, in other words, when, when you're any, we just want to say that the emotions that you are feeling as you're closing the gap, the emotions feel better. As you're widening the gap, the emotions feel worse. Mm -hmm. So emotions are always about energy and motion. When you really come in and, and in the vortex, when you first step in, it might be feelings of contentment. If you are general in your, in your statements, generally positive, you enter the vortex and in your general positiveness, you have a general feeling of well-being. As you become specifically focused in this positive way, then, then it moves from a feeling of contentment or satisfaction or peacefulness to a feeling of passion and exhilaration. The, the, and so, but it's still all in the vortex. So you get to manage that any way that you want. We're just pointing out that when you truly come into alignment with the wholeness of who you are, though the sensation is, is a, the sensation of, an, of alignment is not felt as physically, if, as long as you're feel, Esther remembers in the early days of receiving us, as she would stand at the podium to sort of brace herself or sit and hold onto the chair for dear life as the energy was shifting and it was sort of uh, would cause her to swoon and feel unsettled. She loved that feeling of swooning. She loved that feeling of, of, of the, and then we explained to her that that's energy in motion, that, that your alignment's either coming on strong or leaving. In other words, you know, when you get those chill bumps, which indicate alignment or those chill bumps that indicate weariness or discomfort. Mm -hmm. Energy is uh, uh, moving. And so as the more into alignment that you come, the less of a physical sensation that you will feel. The higher, it's just like, it's just like lower vibrations have a, a stronger wave and higher vibrations have a shorter wave. It's about that. Oh. It's about that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, indeed.